Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Vinnie G channel. So today I'd like to talk about uh, why I slept in this morning because I was like, up very late last night due to the fact because of drones. Yeah, it sounds crazy. <coughs> when I bought the DJI Phantom 4, 3 standard, I was somewhat disappointed in the fact that you couldn't reach the prescribed distance stated on their product. You know, like is there a form of control and yes there is a form of control and that's the reason i slept in because i looked at that form of control now if you have a look down at my videos um you will see that you know the drone i built uh with the open source flight controller is very 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 optional <laughs> you, you can control everything now these are built from a factory and they're built to a certain standard and they're built according to radio frequency transmission rules and laws and all that sort of stuff so basically i hacked it why and i'll tell you why so i first started when i got the drone using this right now this is a sky reed, and you just clip it on the antenna point it towards the drone and what that did it didn't make the drone really fly that much further but it stopped the signal dr uh, dropping out at its maximum flight then I spent the money and bought this Skyreet uh, Skyreet bought the um, Arctech system beautiful system actually I like it you know you can twist it and all that and yes that did improve it not by much but it did improve it so you know, if you put it like that, you're still bouncing, it's concentrating a signal to it. What these devices do, you know, this is the, the stupid part, and I didn't think about it, right, um, is it amplifies a controlled signal. So, when I say controlled, what I mean is that the signal is controlled in one way or another, either by terms and conditions given by governments to these manufacturers, by aviation rules, um, like I said, by government bodies that regulate the airways. So, <clears throat> it seems to me that um, America is truly the land of the free because they get to fly their devices not that they're, they're allowed to but their devices actually fly further than our devices the one I built I could fly forever kilometers I've seen I've seen guys here in Melbourne um, drop their drone 4k's away go 4k's down the road and they will bring it home that way so it's a one-way flight, they're maximising battery time. But can you get more out of this? And the answer is yes, but at a risk. So, <clears throat> it's like these games, right? Um, and DVDs and things like that. There is a method of control to stop, to prevent things from, prevent the public from doing things with it. So, just like you had um, the different zones with the DVDs, you have the different zones with the games, you have um, PAL, CCAM, you, like you had VHS, Beta, um, there was always some form of control, so <coughs> there is a form of control with these. So, I tried accessing the device via a computer and the, and the ports they have, because the first thing you do when you're going to hack anything is you need a way in. You, you don't worry about getting in, but you need to find that gateway. So I checked for that on this, and there's only two ports on there, one to the camera and one in the drone body itself. Now, the drone body, you know, you could do a password attack on it. It's very resilient. There's days and days of hacking in that. So that was an impossibility, really, to try and do. You could do it, but, you know, it's hard. 
So then I looked at the app and there's nothing really in the app. The app is set to, is a trigger to update everything, if you know what I mean. So then I looked at this baby here. Yeah. And I got in through a Wi Fi signal. So I connected it to the Wi Fi of my computer to what they call an FTP client, which is a file transfer protocol client. It enabled me to see things. So <clears throat> after, this is not something that I've done, but it's something that I've been pursuing because I knew it was possible to be done. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Um, you can, there's always a risk of bricking things. I mean, I've pulled devices out of the box and hacked them and changed everything on them the day I bought it. And we're talking about hundreds of dollars of devices here. So I've always had that, that knowledge. So you actually can change the zone of your drone, which will maximize its capabilities to fly twice the distance you're getting now. Um, it's a form of control, I guess you could say, on this kind of technology. It's basically all it is, a form of control. Um, <clears throat> you can clearly see that um, the 2.4 gigahertz tr uh, frequency People are getting way better distances on devices than, than what this actually does out of the box. And um, these things are kind of a waste of time because you, you um, what would you say? You're only trying to control or to increase a controlled signal. Now you want to increase the control on the signal, then maybe put that on and it'll be okay. So, <clears throat> on my next, one of my next videos, when it's good enough weather to fly down here, I'm gonna try this and um, see how I go. But, yeah, there you go. I have a hacked DJI Phantom 4. Thanks for watching, hope you like it.